Lee, thanks for joining us. Your players kept going once again, but I'm pretty sure you've summed it all up that you've got to start better. That's the key, isn't it? How we start. Um, giving a goal away after 50 seconds or, or however long it was. Because you can't keep going two goals down in this league. Um, obviously, the message was to the players to draw on what's gone and, and when you've been two down previous. Um, but eventually that runs out. Um, so we, we, we know what we've got to do better. Um, we'll work hard at it next week. We'll, the players will be in and we'll, and we'll be going through it with the video and the players because um, we have to improve that. Um, but then overall, again, it's deja vu, isn't it? 2 0 down, you take a point. Did you think that you could get back in the game? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think if they just simplified what they were doing, um, there, was, there was points where we were forcing things. Um, we changed, obviously, changed formations to get down the side of them, and then they started forcing things through the middle. But the chances, um, the pressure built from coming from down the sides of them. Um, but I always feel that group um, can get back into football matches. The brilliance to work with, they're working hard, they take in the messages, and I, I always believe that that group of players, squad of players, can get back into games. How difficult was it with, with the with Lucio, the <coughs> wind swirling in the early stages of the game, caught you out? Was it difficult for players to adapt? Uh, I didn't. Th <laughs> That's the first time someone said it to me, if I'm honest. I didn't really think it was that bad, um, apart from when it was really probably in the air. So, no, you can't use the wind as an excuse now. So you got it back into the game. Fine goal again from Elliot Nevy. You said hopefully he'll carry on. Well, he, he, he did that business for you again. Yeah, and people like Nev epitomise um, that never die attitude in terms of his work rate. He was getting after their, their back players. Had a little bit with Don. Got everybody going again, fired up. Um, took his goal really well. Went in like a bullet. Um, and he epitomised, uh, I'll never say die attitude. Um, I'll obviously have to look at it and reflection in terms of what the game looked like in terms of both boxes. But again, I thought they tried to play. Um, but we had uh, too many under par um, in the first half. But it quickly changes, doesn't it, when you get a goal late in the game? I know I think everybody thought that there would be more than the six minutes, but the six minutes in the end helps you to get that goal. And everybody feels, uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's a win situation. Yeah, and I'm giving up with the time added on and all that time. They, they, they've obviously made a decision behind the scenes to cut the time down. Well, they need to tell us because I don't get how you go from the opening day of the season to people playing 15, 14, 12 minutes and now we're only playing six, and it seems to happen in every game now. So they need to tell us, because they've obviously made a conscious decision behind the scenes. They, I, I, have they realised they've made a mistake with it, and now we're trying to cut it short, because um, I give up with it, um, because I thought they should have been longer, a lot longer. And with that time, we feel we might have pushed for a winner. When you look at your team selection, you were stretched with your options. It was 10 from the academy on the team sheet, so it's, it's, it's not easy, is it, for you to make those changes that you probably wanted to if you've got everybody fit? Yeah, we've got a small squad, haven't we? Um, like I said, we're, we're a couple short in areas that we want to get. I'm not saying that's going to happen. Everybody um, who's obviously a professional football at the football club will be utilised um, and, and probably play um, throughout the season because, like you see, we get, we get a couple of injuries. Uh, Charlie, we've obviously he's been for his injections on the back of his leg. We've had real positive feedback in terms of his training since he's had it done. Um, and it's obviously you can't replicate the game, um, what you do on the training pitch and with the sports science. Um, so hopefully um, we're going to get some good news on that in terms of that's just the first time it's kicked off since he's had these injections. But no, small squad, um, we, we'll need everybody and all the players know that as long as we're all digging in and going in the right direction and all the players need to need to know that, um, which I, th I feel they are doing. Are you happy that you've got a free week now? You know, first three weeks since your first ball of the season was kicked that you can get out on the training ground and work with your players and bring some more to their game? Yeah, it's all, we've done a lot of um, prep for games. Um, obviously with the Saturday, Tuesdays and, and the cup game going in the middle of that. Yeah, we'll use the week um, wisely. There's a game on Monday, the players will obviously be in, we'll change their day off. Um, but we'll use the time wisely um, in terms of video, etc. It's not necessarily always getting them out on the training pitch because, like I say, a lot of them players have played a lot of minutes now.